Okay, uh, I will try to show how to, let's say, RMA was emailed by the customer. So let's open the Office, Microsoft Office. Okay, here's a example, RMA request. Uh, by this Harry Horak. Let's open it up. Okay, it just say our request RMA, see attach, and these are two attachment. Uh, let's open the this one. So double click, open it. Click OK and click Escape to show the whole page. Okay, so this is the army request form that they sent. And this was bought from Strict Wave and the company is Five Star Computer Service. Uh, warranty period is within one year so they have gave us also the serial number and date of purchase but let's look at the other file which they sent okay which is this one strict wave wireless open it up Okay, this is a copy of their invoice transaction with Strict Wave, and this is the unit. I guess they're trying to have it RMA, uh, easy platform dual, uh, and the date of purchase is June 22, which is still within one year warranty period. So. Um, for that, we go ahead and create a RMA number. Okay, for this case. Okay, this is a this is a example. So what we need to go and create a RMA number is we have to open up the RMA engine. Okay, which is this shortcut icon. Click on it. <coughs> And then the login username should be Chang. So click it once over here and then scroll to Chang. And then password is Chang also. C H A N G. Uh, when this uh, screen comes out, click on RMA register click once and this is what comes out and so what we need to do over here to create the number okay is click on the add on this screen click on add once this comes out since they bought it from strict weight so we have to register them as strict weight so customer ID is S T R okay S T R but strict wave come out already so select this line double click okay now this is the strict wave uh, information click update and created a RMA number for this RMA case today which is 10331 now we have to 
fill the items that they want to fix so what we need to do is over here click edit once edit we have to put add item so now we can add the item which we could uh, put for the RMA request click on the quantity over here put one and then to go to the other field just use tab key serial number okay serial number is mentioned on the RMA form which is this one double click select it copy and then paste control V and then go to the next field is tab uh, product ID is hold on over here is say 11-311 one 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 one. okay select it and then copy and then paste go to the other field which use tab but it come out nothing so this product has not been uh, register for the description so just click on this uh, line and it will be blank what we need to do now is uh, get the description name of this product ID which I will go to uh, QuickBook what we can do on QuickBook is just open a new sales order okay I just want to get the description of the product ID okay just put uh, this product 11-311 one, one one, one, tap and this is the product description so highlight it copy and then paste over here so that's the product description invoice number they didn't put it on their RMA request form so nothing to put next field is product I uh, purchase date okay purchase date over the RMA form is this date copy paste okay reason usually we don't put anything but for the description of the problem uh, we click on this field and then copy the description of problem okay copy and then paste tap click on the tap okay then update update and then update so the number for this case is 10331 now we need to create a RMA receipt form to email to them so that they can print that form and then use it to ship it back to us so one way we can do that is to create the RMA receipt form which will be uh, on the warehouse directory under okay let's go to warehouse directory to this one warehouse it might look different on your side but open this directory and there's a folder for Jose and Olivia double click on it and the RMA receipt that we're gonna email them is this one uh, res receipt uh, tele that doc Okay, double click on this.
so uh, we're gonna make one now okay the form is this one okay so the RMA number is go to the RM engine which is 10331 double click highlight copy and then paste company name let's go to that uh, RMA request form company name is okay five star highlight it copy paste contact name Harry Horak paste address copy paste excuse me copy paste email okay let's see email is this one copy paste phone number copy paste fax number there's nothing so we just leave it blank also and this is standard because they request for standard also see it's standard so next thing is quantity put here quantity which is only one and then the product ID let's go to the RMA engine the one which uh, so product ID is this one highlighted copy paste product description copy paste <laughs> So this is the one. Uh, one, one, one. Okay. So save this file. Uh, the conventional method that I used to save the file name is uh, copy the whole company name. Okay. And then save as. I'm gonna for for temporarily every file you save save it over here, okay, under this directory for Jose and Olivia, and then the file will be the company name with the RM number which is one zero three three one. Okay, save it. Now you can see that it's been saved with this table. Excuse me. Now to email. Okay. What I usually do is based on uh, the email that they sent for the RMA request for. So I have to close the RMA request form, the original one. Okay, close it. Now go to the email that has this request, which is this. Okay, what I usually do is from this email, I do the forward so that when I forward everything document that they said is still there. Okay, forward. An attachment, okay. The district with uh, 
should be close. This one. Okay, close it. Again, go back. Forward. Usually for this is we're approving the RMA request, okay? So we will go to copy a template of saying that this is approved, and the template is still under my computer. But later I'll put it on the for Olivia and for Jose and Olivia. So let's go to the desktop uh, RMA template. And then approve. Okay, open this. <coughs> Just copy the whole thing. I uh, select the whole thing. Copy. Okay, and then paste it over here. So this is for the approval and our MA number is 
So hopefully this will work for the uh, approval of the RFA request.